overflows negative and positive two approaches to life negative and positive are two approaches to life like two feet or two hands two ways of looking and living life just as two feet are necessary for walking so too positive and negative both are needed for transcendence if a negative mind comes to a rose garden many roses may be there but he will count only the thorns the first thing for the negative mind is thorns problems this is significant flowers are just illusory and thorns are real he will count and of course for each flower a thousand thorns are there and once he counts the thousand thorns he cannot believe in a single rose single flower he will say one flower is just illusory how can such a beautiful flower exist with so many ugly thorns it is impossible and unbelievable and even if it exists it means nothing now 1000 thorns have been counted and the flower disappears 1000 thorns are more important than a single blossom a positive mind will start with the rose with the flower and once you are in communion with rose once you know the beauty the life the unearthly flowering thorns disappear and one who has known the roses in its beauty in its highest possibility one who has looked deep into it for him not even thorns will look like thorns his eyes are filled with the beauty and splendor of the flower and they are different now now the thorns will look just like a protection for the flower an opportunity for growth they will be friends not enemies instead they will just look like part of the flowering of the roses now this mind will know that flowers that this flower happens and these thorns are necessary as protection because of these thorns the flower could become a possibility this positive mind will feel grateful even to thorns and if this approach deepens a moment comes when thorns becomes flowers with the first approach the flower disappears for the flower even and even flower becomes thorn only with a positive mind you will come to a state of non tense mind with a negative mind you will always remain tense with so many miseries all around such a negative inventive mind goes on revealing miseries and miseries and hells and hells during buddha's time there was really a famous teacher his name was sanjay viladiputta he was an absolute negative thinker sanjay viladiputta was an ascetic teacher who lived around 6th century bc during the region of magadh in india he was contemporary to mahavir makli goshal and buddha he was proponent of the skeptical anjana school of thoughts sanjay is thought to be the first teacher of two future buddhas buddhas two great disciples mudgalyam and sariputta both of them were followers of a person named sanjay viladiputta he has another surname sanjay was very prominent during his time 
many scholars used to come to him and these two Mudgalyam and Sariputta who became the Arihantas and ultimately Bodhisattva left Sanjay Viladiputta as it did not address their unresolved desire to end ultimate misery. Sanjay Viladiputta also had another disciple, another follower. His name was Supiya and he was the minister at the court of King Ajat Shatru. Sanjay is recorded as saying, if you ask me if there exists another world after death, if I thought that there exists another world, I would declare that to you, I don't think so. I don't think in that way. I do not think otherwise. I do not think not. I do not think not not. I do not say it does exist. I do not say it does not exist. If you ask me if there isn't any other world, both is and is not. Neither is nor is not. If there are beings who transmigrate, if there aren't, both are and are not. Neither or nor or not. If you ask me if Tathagat exists after death, does not both neither exist nor does not exist. Would I declare then that I would declare to you? I don't think so. I don't think in that way. I don't think otherwise. I do not think not and I do not think not not. In Jain literature, Sanjay Viladiputta is identified as a Jain sage. It is believed that he was influenced by Jain doctrine. Although Jain philosophers were quite critical of Sanjay Viladiputta, Buddha thought of seven hells. So someone came to Sanjay Viladiputta and told him that Buddha said there are seven hells. Sanjay Viladiputta said, go and tell your Buddha he does not know anything. There are 700 hells. He does not know anything. Only seven. There are 700 and I have counted them all. If you have a negative mind, even 700 are not much. You will find even more. There is no end to it. You keep, you become a perpetual inventor of negativities. The positive mind can be non-tense. Really, if you are positive, how can you be tense? And if you are negative, how can you be non-tense? With a negative mind, there is no association with meditation. The negative mind is against meditation, it is anti-meditative, it cannot meditate, it cannot be meditative. A single mosquito is enough to disturb him. That is why when you are meditating, everyone has to create an environment for you to be meditative. Children have to abandon their playing, their screaming. The dogs have to start barking, the mosquitoes have to start humming, only then you can meditate. So children are living in their natural spontaneity. The very nature of dogs is to bark. So you are more concerned about the disturbances than on creating a positive approach within. A single mosquito is enough to destroy the meditation. With a negative mind, 
the door the door is closed for tranquility for stillness for silence the negative mind is self perpetuating for misery it goes on inventing misery how can it take a jump towards choicelessness krishna murthy goes on saying about choicelessness to the audience that is negative they listen but they never understand and when they do not understand krishna murthy gets disturbed because they are not understanding him only a positive mind can understand what he is saying so first and foremost approach of an awakened one is to change you from the negative way of thinking to the positive way of thinking instead of counting the thorns you have to start seeing and feeling the presence of the blossoming of the flower but it is certain that a positive mind need not go anywhere neither to buddha nor krishna murti nor osho or anywhere only a negative mind is is in search of a teacher a master to talk to the negative mind about choicelessness about going beyond duality about living both negative and positive simultaneously is meaningless now that not that this is untrue certainly it is true but meaningless one who is listening must be taken into account he is more important than the one who is talking as i see you are negative first you need a transformation towards the positivity from your no saying to become a yes sayer if you look at life with a yes attitude and with a yes attitude to every earth with that everything on the earth is totally transformed for you only then you will have attained a positive attitude then everything around you will become a source of inspiration in one way or the other for your journey and then you can take a jump into the choicelessness and that will be easy and very easy misery cannot be renounced it is difficult you cling to it only happiness can be renounced because then you know that when you renounce the negative you can gain a positive and a positive happiness as well to renounce the negative and you gain happiness just by renouncing the the negative if you renounce the happiness this positive mind also with that you open the door for the infinite you know that the more you share with the people with the surroundings the more a flower shares its beauty and lusher and fragrance the more possibility exists for new flowers to blossom new opportunities you go on creating but you must first have the feel of the positive only then you can take a jump into the unknown and unknowable only then the season of spring will surround you and everywhere every misery will become every thorn will become a flower to you the dogs barking will become a music for you the uh, noise on the street will become a music and assistance and help to you in the process of your meditation enough for now